Good morning. How's everybody? It is 1,000% completely schnotsky sideways blowing, freaking raining. You, you won't see it. It's too gray and dull and dismal. Whoa, beep, beep, beep. How's everybody? You, everybody good? I sure hope so. I really do. Um, friends, this video is a fun one. It's kind of interesting. I'm just going to give you a little preamble of what's going down here. Um, remember the Dalmar on the Cottonwood job that we we just done well that saw had not been fired for a long time and i just want to quickly show you so you'll hear me say hey i got a couple trees to cut for a buddy of mine they've already been cut but i wanted to share this but the video was too long last time so i couldn't get it in and i just want to share that process right now of that saw that's been sitting for it feels like a year it it just does i don't know why it feels that long but it but it does so we're going to share that. And I also, friends, I have footage, GoPro footage of a logging job, small logging job, two loads that Hogan and Matt had. And they invited me in on it. It was tricky. There was some interesting stuff and it was whole assist and working, but it's all GoPro footage. But it was so fun. I think I showed little blurbs. I'm not sure. It was me, Hogan, and his school time buddy he grew up with, Matt. Just what a treat, what a treat to work with your boy and his buddy and his buddy's got a, a good thing going. His dad's a logger. I've logged with his dad before. Uh, so I want to show this footage because it's production fallen. It's uh, a lot of GoPro footage on the sauce uh, type stuff. There's a, a little scenario we do in this video coming up. So, um, let me know in the comment section if you want us. I know you're probably going to say, let's see it anyway, but but just let me know. Um, I'll show you a small blurb of, of what the footage is, five minutes or so. And uh, yeah, it's, and it's a blast working with those boys. So let me know in the comments whether you want to see the rest of it. It is just strictly GoPro footage. I think there's a little phone. Uh, it was soaking. It was soaking. And, and I wasn't putting the phone out in the rain like that. So anyway, regardless, friends, enjoy. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for being here. Head over to buckandbillyray.com. It helps a ton. We're building, uh, we're building a truck right now, friends. We're building, uh, well, not building a truck. We're, we're reconstructing Myrtle a bit for a long road trip. It, this is new information if you're new here. Uh, we're going to jump in Myrtle, me and Wild West Garage, Morgan, you know him, you've met him, He's works, he works on all my trucks, my old trucks. And we're going to jump in that sucker, old Myrtle, and drive all the way to Ontario. And you know where we're going? Yes, we are. It's going to be an amazing trip, friends. I'm actually super, super excited. feel like I've had handcuffs on for two years now with the way the world's been. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll stop in and see Tin Man too, I guess. Whatever. Tin Man. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, Tin Man. We're coming by your shack, too. So get the pancakes and the maple syrup ready. We're coming. <laughs> so we're excited. And let's get on with this video. But I want to thank the friends and folks who've been going in to the store when, when someone goes into the store, buckandbillyray.com, and grabs themselves a shirt or a toque or whatever, my little phone goes, ding, makes a little bling. And it's such a supportive sound to this channel. And I want to thank everybody that's been popping into the channel and, and spending their hard-earned money in, in at the website. And you need to know that it helps a ton, especially with what we got on the go coming up. Thanks, friends. Enjoy the video. Give us a thumbs up. Would you in there? Over and out. Okay, friends, how are we doing? I got a couple of trees to cut for a buddy of mine. Well, I got 
Glasses in there too. Do you remember this one we saw, friends? From AJ. AJ Axe and Saw. UK. Choke has not run in. Uh, I don't even know how long. I don't. M months. Could even be a year. But I don't think so. A long time. It's been hanging in there. Let's see what happens on fire, on just fire. I'm not going to prime it. I'm just going to start it, regular starting procedures. But I find with these compression buttons, friends, I find they don't have the suction to suck the fuel through, up through the, right, the pulse into the carb as much as they do if you leave the compression button off. It has more, right? It just, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong, if you're a saw mechanic. Should be nice if we had a core, even just a cord oil line around somewhere. Okay. Okay. This saw is a hard pull. But I'll guarantee you it'd be more. That's excellent. See what I'm saying? I can almost guarantee you. That's not bad. That's a good sign. This saw is funny. It gets, after you run it, like if you shut it off, you're falling, doing whatever, yada, yada, running it for five or 10 minutes or whatever, and you shut it off, it's a hard start to get going again. So friends, th this is the other day when we cut them cottonwoods down and I want to get this saw back into the circuit. It just has this funny thing. Um, it, it runs great when you're on it, but if you shut it off, it can be a, there's a system. It has a system. You have to choke it again for some strange reason. It's a hot rod, right? So anyways, um, I just wanted to see how many pulls it would take to get this thing flashed. So that's all. We're moving on. I just wanted to show that, friends. Okay, friends. So if you want to um, want to run 105 drivers with your still bars when you do your still bars, you know, because they don't make the organ lightweights anymore, there's a couple things you got to do. You either add a driver into your chain, which I'm not into doing because I run my chains on Huskies and still bars. This is what you got to do. So what it does is you'll put your bar on, you'll throw your chain on your 105 driver and it won't go on the bar because it backs up against the studs at the front of the, the groove there, where, right where I'm working on. So you just lengthen that a little bit and or throw another driver in your chain, but then you've got a kind of an odd sized chain, but you can't really swap them around other power saws. So, so I just fabricate the bar. Friends, you can swap bars to anything as long as you've got oil coming to it and you got adjustments. So usually those are the two things you gotta worry about. And I just wanted to show this, friends. That's it. Deal's done. Down in Hollywood, let's go. town 
not me. I'd rather be cutting, climbing, splitting, stacking, axing. You know what I mean? But I gotta get lawnmowers fixed. You see, friends, this is what happens when the sun comes out. Everything changes. The grass starts growing when you got a few, an acre of grass. Look at this nice car. Beauty. Um, yeah. I gotta get gas. I gotta get things. Do things. I gotta go to Walkers. Get a belt for the lawnmower. I broke my freaking drider mower belt and all that stuff. Just domestic things I have to do. I'd rather be, like I said, cutting or doing something. But, that's life. Sorry, friends. So we're gonna fill up the old Sylvia. Myrtle's getting a pretty good once over, friends. But I think what we're gonna do, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go easy on the, uh, on, on the, uh, the deck. We're not gonna build the, the, the flat deck first. Or, or at this time, because we got to prepare for, um, oh, he's going there. He's out of a gun. Yeah, he's going. There was that sound. Did you guys hear that? Did you hear that sound? Um, so, yeah, it, uh, for us to open up that box right now, it does not make sense at all. We're, we're going to go to see the Tin Man Manitoba. Um, and then we'll do the box when we get back. There's just no, we're not gonna open that can of worms right now. We're just not gonna do it. Uh, doesn't sound like the thing to do. So we, we're gonna we're gonna get all the rest stuff. We got a gear, a gear swap we gotta do in the back, which I would like to do. And we got other stuff, so, right? So that, that's the plan. But for now, we're gonna get some gas back in a flash. She's filling up. This is right, we got a short, tight quarters. There's a fence, line, side, and the end. There's about a tree length. There's just enough to get started. It's actually an interesting job that way. But anyways, friends, this is a five minute clip to kind of just open up, let you know what we're doing in here. The whole first part of the job, except for the first tree, I think, was back cut first. So I show you some stuff here on the stump that I do. Um, one wrong move with the back cut first, friends, and the tree's over your shoulder and you're looking like mud is your name. So, uh, but anyways, this was a fun job. There's a bunch of footage. We, we, we almost nailed the job the full day. It was snotty and rainy, but enjoy this little bit here, friends. We'll, we'll bring some more in. Leave comments in the comment section if you want to see more of this stuff, friends, on the GoPro footage. Back at her. Okay, friends, so we're getting opened up. We're just starting. This is the first few trees. Everything's leaning back. You'll notice what I do here. I'm gonna actually voice over with you guys right now. I take a good look at what's going on. This back cut first, like this thing's leaning back. It's a small tree. 
This is where back cut first comes in super handy. Not so much on the big trees, although it can be done, but this tree's small, you can see. So you make the decision, have I got enough room to put an undercut in it and then sink my back bar in and, and am I gonna be able to get a wedge in? Well, nine times out of 10 on these small trees, if it's leaning back, you, you don't have the room. So I designed wedges for this too, as you may have noticed there. So this is the back cut first, friends. I pop this thing in there. I pound that wedge in there. Get it? You can actually Please lift the tree. Back hard, hard. And we got a wall of timber behind us. I'm just telling you about what's going on and everything's leaning back and back cut first. kind of spouting off a bit there. But anyway, so this is the most imperative part of this little cut that we do here, is right here, right now. If you cut too many slivers on one side or the other, it is gone over your shoulder. You'll hear a little pop and your name turns to mud instantly. I've done it. The only time I ever hit the corner of a house, I just tagged a little uh, 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 corner of a, of a house one time. And it was out here and it was on a logging job. And uh, it was doing this. And I heard that little pop and my stomach dropped. Uh, yeah, it was, it was no fun, friends. So I learned this out in the bush. Not in residential tree service. I learned this out in the bush. So you'll notice we, we, we get it cut up and it, it's not going anywhere. It, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I have to double up on this to get it to go. Yeah, like I'm, I'm getting to my good swinging hand here now. Like that right there, we've lifted that tree already close to four feet now. Four feet. So bang, bang, take a look. Bang, bang, take a look. Is that wedge sunk? Yeah, it is, and it's not going anywhere. So that's four feet of lift right there. Now we double up. And, and this, I'll tell you friends, this is such an amazing technique. It's pulled me out of the bite so many freaking times. But anyways, I'll get off here and, and you guys can just finish up watching this. I love you all friends. Be kind, pop in, hit the thumbs up. We'll catch you all later on the next video. Buckandbillyray.com for all your little goodies. And I appreciate the heck out of all of you. Enjoy the video. See you on the next one. friends this is the end of this video i want you to do me a favor leave comments in the comment section if you want to see more of this it's a lot of uh gopro footage but there's some good stuff and if you're a cutter there may be something that helps along the line here but it is fun working with the boys and uh, i i just I, whenever i get the opportunity to work with those young fellas i take it it's such a blast it's so good to see my son doing what he's doing right now. He's going to camp, doing a, a camp shift. Anyway, I'm gonna make a trip down to Morgan's here, friends. We're in the process right now of looking for, I don't think I wanna play with that rear end. I, I, I mean, I could change the gears or I can easily find an old pickup automatic with a 373 rear end and just do a complete drum to drum Swap the whole rear end, boom, swap the rear end, drop the U-bolts, in goes the rear end, hook up the brake lines. We may have to do a U-joint or a, or a, uh, a drive line, maybe, a, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking drum to drum might be the way to go. And I just, that's a 410 rear end is what it is. It's a 410 rear end, but I've had these trucks for freaking years. The Dana 60, the Dana 70, they'll bolt right in. Uh, the pads for the, you know what I mean? For the, for the springs are the same. I want to get a longer gear ratio on that truck. I've always wanted to because I want to cruise the highway with it. Old Myrtle. It was a camper. That's a camper special friends, old Myrtle. So we're, we're going to put the bed off for now because we got to prioritize for the road trip.
I've talked to Brad Rib uh, Broad River, Brad, right? I, I, I'm so excited, friends. This is, I haven't traveled in ages. Anyway, I'm kind of going off. Enjoy the video. Thumbs up. Do all the things us crazy YouTubers ask you to do if you like to. If you don't, don't. See you on the next one. Be kind to one another. Boost the human spirit. Catch you on the next one, friends.